What's going on guys, this is Riggs and welcome back to another PUBG Mobile video, specifically the 1.9 update announcement. It's officially been released right from Tencent, so shout out to them for providing these patch notes. So I'm gonna go over everything that you can expect from when you're watching this video, because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking this question uh, in the comment section, which is, Riggs, when are we going to get the update? From when you're watching this video, when I upload it, it should be any time today just make sure you're checking the app stores it won't be like an automatic thing where you just log in and click update usually these updates you have to go into your app store you know depending what device you're on android or ios and you have to update it manually the servers will not be taken offline so the big thing is the event mode that's coming which is the vibrant anniversary you have the two different platforms the nim i believe it's the uh, nimbus platforms what's nice similar to like the mirror world event which a lot of people liked where if you went in hot dropped and say you ended up dying on that platform your game just doesn't end you go ahead and respawn and you get another life um which is really cool because it promotes um you know dropping hot so we have the colorful bicycles as pick up a folding mountain bike on the map and open it in your backpack to use it as a one person vehicle this bike doesn't need to be refueled or recharged, which we talked about. And it says barely creates any noise when it is used. Cannot, here's the keyword, cannot be destroyed and can be placed in the backpack at any time to move quickly later. Um, all right, so then we have a couple different camps. So we do have some buildings that are changing in a wrangle as well as points of interest. Um, one of the big ones is where you can actually go to one of these camps, uh, the military theme camps where you can get a vehicle radar. So within a certain radius, I don't know the actual dimensions, but within a certain radius, you will see on the minimap a specific vehicle that you can go ahead and uh, hop in. For the bicycles, those will be available on the Stalber um, anniversary theme area uh, platform, as well as in a quarry for those of you guys looking for bicycles. And everyone's favorite recall mode now, Contrary to belief, a lot of people were saying that the recall was going to be on classic matches, right? Just regular classic matches. The answer to that is no. Where this is going to be available is on the all the unranked modes, but specifically the Orangle Vibrant Anniversary and Livic Vibrant Anniversary. So check this out. On Orangle, a lot of people are going to be upset about this, uh, but on Wrangle, the Om, um, the Groza, and the Ghillie suit have been removed. However, they did add the option to purchase a flare gun with enough coins at the supply shops. On Livic, the Om um, and the Ghillie suit have been removed, while the Og uh, and a few other weapons have been added. This one also is tricky. It says the cost of items in supply shops have been adjusted for better balance. The items were already cheap. Did inflation make its way into PUBG Mobile? That remain, uh, remains to be seen. We'll have to wait till the update drops. All right, another one that we covered in one of our recent videos uh, all by itself was the update to the bridge, specifically the bridge that leads to the military base in Orangel. Uh, it says they've widened the width and updated the amount of cover and add additional walkways to the sides of the bridge to allow for more strategic depth. Whereas before you'd have like one team kind of, you know, dominating in the middle of the bridge, you know, catching people as they pass by, or if someone, you know, tries to camp and end and they have a little firefight. Um, but now even more teams can fit on the bridge than ever before because of these walkways or these catwalks, whatever you want to call it. You, you, you could literally have like four or five teams on this bridge now it will be complete chaos. Cannot wait to see it unfold. All right, something else that has been added into the game that is a huge dub when you have to swim out to something like a crate that lands in the water happens all the time or an airdrop. So this will be clutch so you know, so you know which weapon is actually going to uh, be replaced when you're looting airdrops and things like that. A couple other things that they've... Um, made changes to the other uh, big one is they've improved the climb feature players can now hold the jump button 
when approaching cover to automatically climb over them, which also makes it easier to climb through windows. They've also changed the animation of going through windows. That's also been something a lot of people have had a lot of problems with in, the, in this game for a long time. You go right up to the center of a window and your character just jumps up. So now they've made the flow of action and the transition much smoother. In the beta, it looks awesome. Another big one that came as a surprise is the Royale Arena Assault. It says available uh, starting April 7th. Uh, it says Arangle and Livic. A random area will become a 4v4 combat zone. The first team to complete the elimination goal wins, blah, 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 blah. So this is really, really cool. I mean, way different from the 4v4 that we have like uh, in TDMs, right? With the warehouses, hangar, and so on. Definitely will have to check this one out and see what it looks like in game. All right, before we wrap up the video, uh, I don't want to bore you guys with all of the bug fixes that are coming. Some of these are really cool. Some of these are meh. One of them is not on this list, and it is so frustrating. I want to rip my hair out. But before we get into that, uh, two things that were fixed that stand out the most on this list is the hit effects that would fail to display properly when spectating. I also noticed, though... They didn't mention anything about fixing the audio issue for when you're spectating an enemy or especially one of your teammates when you die early. You spectate your teammate, there's no audio. I noticed that was not mentioned on this list. Needs to be fixed. Um, the other good one is the sound effects that would occasionally not play when you're using a firearm. Uh, when you were, uh, you know, taking the pin out of a nade, the explosion. Very, very frustrating. It would happen to you a teammate, an enemy, where you wouldn't hear their weapon, that bug has been fixed. The number one bug that I was hoping to see on this list that isn't here, and it's by far the most frustrating out of anything in the game right now, is the parachute glitch. It's still in the game. It is still happening almost every single match where you do not know where your character is going to land. There's been times where you're going to land, and we're not talking. It's not a ping issue. It's not an M. You could be have tw you could have 20 MS, and you think you're landing in the three stack across the street in Pachinki, but instead you end up in the two stack that's like you know a hundred meters away. It's very, very uh, frustrating, uh, and I don't see it on here. So I don't know if there's going to be another patch. I'm praying that this gets fixed because this is a huge issue. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a, a quick recap of the patch notes, what you can expect. It's update time. It's very, very exciting. One more week until the new season begins. But that's going to do it for this one. Until the very next one, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.